This is Alice Gregor. Uh, my company, I have two companies actually. One I've had a while and the other company is for the future. The first company is Alice Gregor Books, one word, lowercase. And we publish children's books through a self-publisher. And previously I would illustrate and write the books, but now I just write. And the future company is, we're keeping it sort of under wraps at this point, but it's a film institute for independent filmmakers. My role is to give a message to children, to try to teach them to be a better person in our society and, and to ignore some things that are going on and, and just to gravitate to what comes across in the book, to being kind to each other, to believe in dreams, to believe you could be what you want to be. I was always employed as a writer. I started out at Dunham Bradstreet doing credit reports, doing 50 a week. And then I learned how to write succinctly and to the point. So I got into the books because in 1987, I wrote and il illustrated my first two books, The Pig That Ran Away and The Horse That Couldn't Say Nay. They were unpublished for a long time, until 2012, and I published the two of them through another publishing house and wrote a third book, The Dinosaur That Wanted to Play. I just recently published, it's just going to release now, Docket and Rocket Meet Butterfly Angel, about metamorphosis and how through change and friends, you can be what you want to be. And that was always my aim. For Butterfly Angel, my neighbor, my 87-year-old neighbor, gave me the, for my birthday this silver Christmas tree ornament that was silver and white, a butterfly. And so I looked at it and I said, oh, Butterfly Angel. And it just materialized into a book. And one Sunday afternoon when I was still with someone else, I wrote the book because I was alone and I had the place to myself. And I usually write on a, t a laptop, but this time I just took a legal pad and hand wrote it and I couldn't get the words down fast enough. In essence, it, it, part of it was that it was my bio <laughs> because the, the, the main character who starts out as Ms. Caterpillar felt this one way about herself because she just crawled on the ground. And then it just went on and on to all these different things she saw and wanted to be, and that was like me. And then finally, in the end, she becomes an angel. And that was actually a starting point for saying to myself, well, I should do this film institute because I could be like an angel to these people. The first screenplay came in 1980 when I, um, after being in Tribeca, and it's about Tribeca in 1977, and I thought like now's a good time for it to come out because there's kind of a revival of the 70s in clothes and uh, People in Tribeca don't know what it was like back then, you know, and, and it's about being an artist and an avant-garde artist. And my favorite line from that screenplay is when Antonio says, I didn't become a, an artist because there was a job opening. And I think that just says the whole thing about the world of art. In 75, I went to Archie Bray Foundation in Montana, where um, it, it was a place for ceramicists and glass bows to go, because that was what was in then. And so um, famous people from the industry would come and give workshops and lectures and demos. and teach the people how to be better at their skills. And that was where the first 
idea for the Film Institute generated from that experience. And so that's where the idea came from for the Film Institute. And I just always liked uh, art and writing. I didn't have the skills to be a real artist, like in the traditional sense, so I always gravitated towards the uh, abstract. And I had a solo show at the Ocean County Artist Guild, the only real place in Ocean County to show, and it, it went well. I have a following of people who like my kind of work, and other people just kind of look at it. <laughs> My present mantra is, by helping others, we help ourselves. Children always know whether you're being honest with them. And so I try to be as honest as I can in my books for children. <laughs>